Good morning, students. I am Professor Suryan Shivibi. Today we are going to see one subject, principles of marketing. In that particular subject, today we are going to see the functions of marketing. In this particular presentation, we are going to deal with the principles of marketing. What is marketing? Objectives of marketing. Functions of marketing. Advantages and disadvantages of marketing. First, we will see what is exactly marketing. Marketing management is concerned with all those activities which are essential to determine and satisfy the need of customers so as to achieve the objectives of business. So this is the simple definition of marketing where they are telling us that to determine, to satisfy the need of customers, this is the basic thing of marketing. In ultimately words, we can say to satisfy the need, wants and customers of the product that is nothing but the marketing here we will see the objectives of marketing one by one the first objective of marketing is increasing the sales volume nowadays companies are trying to increase their sales volume by using the different marketing strategies if they increase the sales volume ultimately they are going to increase their profit so the always the first objective of marketing is to increase the sales volume then second objective it creates the demand by using the different strategies of marketing, when we know the need, want and demand of the customer, you can create a demand for your respective product and services. This is second objective. Now the third objective, building organizational goodwill. By using the different strategies of marketing, the marketing mix, advertising, sales promotion strategies, the organization are able to build goodwill in the market and into the minds of customer. Then next objective, customer satisfaction by using the marketing strategies customer satisfaction can be created by doing the customer research systematic analysis of customer need want and demands so this will help the organization to create a customized product that will satisfy their wants and next objective employment generation by using the marketing strategies employment generation is possible if we can see the different strategies that can be used for the employment generation in marketing that is nothing but supply chain management is there advertising and sales promotion is there logistics management is there these are the some sectors where the marketing generates the employment opportunities for the employees then the uh, next objective creates time and place utility Time and place utility, it is nothing but time utility, if we discuss about time utility, the customers are able to get their desired product and services at the right time and place utility, it is nothing but the customers are going to get the product and services at their closest places where they can give. Then uh, functions of marketing, first function, marketing research. In this research function, the marketing organization they try to do the research in different fields like the first research they carry out related with the need want and demand of the customer they try to do market segmentation by using the marketing research then second function product design and development when they understand the need want and demand of the customer the product design and development take place they can design the product according to the customer needs and the desire so this will help the organization to develop the product which can satisfy the needs of customer. Then third function, product standardization. In this particular function, the standardized product can be manufactured by different organization when they do marketing research. Then fourth function of marketing, product packaging and labeling. If we see product packaging and labeling, it is one of the important function of marketing. In product packaging, the organization decides what are the different packaging strategies they have to be implemented. Labeling gives information about the product and uh, its manufacturing rate, its warranties, guarantees, its content. The general information is provided in the labeling. The next function, product pricing. The first function of marketing we have seen, marketing research. The product pricing research is also done by the organizations. The product pricing can be decided by conducting the research or we can say the market research 
when they do the research related with the pricing they can decide what kind of exact pricing is to be kept for the when they want to launch any new product or service into the market the next function of marketing is promotion of product promotion it is nothing but it is a way of communicating with the end customer when we speak about the promotion of product it is nothing but the company they are trying to do sales promotion by using different advertising mix the next function of marketing selling and distribution of product so when company manufactures any product the ultimate goal is to sell that particular product to the end customer this is possible with the help of selling the customer uh, selling the product to the end customer and distribution of product it is nothing but by using the different distribution channels the organization is able to distribute the product to the end customer where they are located if we consider the distribution of product the distribution of product is possible at the international level national level and domestic level then at the last marketing planning it is the last function of marketing in marketing planning the company try to do different type of planning that is related to increase the sales volume what kind of new strategies that should be implemented to increase the sales volume then a few functions which are rest then warehousing and storage this is the another function of marketing in warehousing and storage the organization decides the location of warehousing and where to store their raw material or finished product which will help the organization to reduce their operating cost the next function transportation by using the transportation function the organization is able to transport the finished product from organization to the end customer they implement or they adopt different kind of transportation mode to reach towards the customer different transportation modes that may include roadways airways waterways by using this transportation mode the products can be reached towards the end customer then the second last function of marketing customer support and services when organization sells their product to the customer customer support and services is one of the important part when customer purchase the product if they felt any drawback in the product or they are uh, they are getting in the problem with the product the organization can use after sales services they try to solve the queries of the customers by providing right information to the customer and the next function of marketing is buying and selling if we see buying and uh, buying and assembling it is nothing but the organization buys the different kind of raw material for the purpose of manufacturing of finished goods and assembling it is nothing but they try to assemble the finished product as per their standardization as per their color or as per their functions or the benefits which are getting by the customers